but actually being silent and listening to what the other person is saying. From my own prayer life over the last nine years in pastoral ministry, I'm convinced that God will sometimes use silence to listen to us and to engage us in the high and holy art of communication. What did the prophet Habakkuk say? The Lord is in his holy temple. Let all the earth keep silence before him. And so the first lesson I learned was the lesson of frustration. The second lesson I learned was the lesson of communication. But the third and the ultimate lesson that I've learned is the lesson of anticipation. That is, as we read in the scripture, learning to wait on the Lord, be of good courage, and he shall strengthen thine heart. That is learning how to wait with expectancy, although you can neither hear from heaven at that moment nor see what God is doing at the moment. But remember, number one, in anticipation, number one, God is still on the throne. Number two, God is doing something about it in his own way and in his own time. Remember, God works on his timetable, not ours. Amen. Yes, yes. And then number three, as the old folks used to sing, we'll understand it better. By and by. Anticipation. God is fixing it right now, even though I can't see how. Anticipation. The Lord will make a way somehow. Anticipation. While I am trying to figure it out, God has already worked it out. Anticipation. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning light. Anticipation. It will work out for the good of them who love the Lord and are the called according to his purpose. Anticipation. The Egyptians were behind them. The Red Sea was in front of them. But God already had a plan for the Israelites to walk on dry land. Anticipation. Job was out on his heap of degradation. But God already had a plan of restoration. Learn today how to wait with the expectancy that God is already doing something about it. Amen. When those naysayers, haters come by telling you, show them something, tell them we walk by faith and not by sight. Tell them I believe in the sun even when the sun isn't shining. And I believe in God even when God is silent. Anticipation. Faith, understand, is relational, not conceptual. The text says it does not yet appear what we shall be. But when he does appear in the moment in the twinkling of an eye, we shall be like him and shall see him as he is. We believe in spite of, not because of. So while Elijah was sitting under the juniper tree, wondering how, God already had 7,000 more who would not bow down. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. We have to learn to wait with the expectancy that God is doing something about it right now. Anticipation is learning how to wait with the expectancy that God is still on the throne. While Martin Luther King was being gunned down, God was already waiting in the wings, getting ready to do some lifting up. God has lifted up all kinds of leaders since Martin Luther King was here. And sometimes we're so fixated on what Dr. King did that we can't see what God is doing. Somebody today is worried about how they're going to pay a bill. Anticipation. When you get home tonight and open your mail, anticipation. There's going to be a check in the mailbox to cover that bill already. Somebody today is worried how they're going to break off a relationship or break off an appointment. But anticipation says when you get home today, there's going to be a message on your voicemail indicating that the relationship is already over and the appointment is already broken. Somebody is looking for a job today. Anticipation says, 
Monday morning, somebody's going to call you. Somebody's going to call you with a job interview. We as Adventist Christians, we've got to learn how to look for a miracle. Learn how to expect the impossible. Feel the intangible. See the invisible. Because the sky is the limit to what you and I can have. Just believe and receive it. God will reward you today. So I'm looking. Looking. Looking for a miracle. Is it a job? No problem. Is it a house? No problem. Is it a car? No problem. Is it money? No problem. Is it love? No problem. Is it appreciation? No problem. Is it a relationship? No problem. Is it just simply peace of mind? No problem. Is it safety and security? No problem. Is it good health? No problem. For my God, my God, my God, shall supply all your needs according to his riches in glory. So you got to fight on. You got to fight on and always anticipate that God will make a move that we cannot see or understand. So today, forget frustration. Learn communication and go get some anticipation. The grass withered, the flower faded, but the word of our God shall stand forever. Forget frustration. Learn communication and go get some anticipation. For one day, every valley shall be exalted. Every mountain and hill shall be made low, and the rough places plain, and the crooked straight, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and all flesh shall see it together. So forget frustration. Learn communication, and go get some anticipation. Because they that wait upon the Lord, shall renew their strength. They shall mount up on wings as eagles. They shall run and not get weary. They shall walk and not faint. So forget frustration. Learn communication and go get some anticipation. Sometimes understand that God gets silent to get us silent. So we might listen to that still, small voice. So shh, quiet. What is God telling you? What is God trying to tell you today? Not what God is telling Pastor Bird, Elder Bays, Elder Grandison, Pastor Buckley. What is God trying to tell you? Shh, where are you find Chris? Speak to my heart. Holy Spirit. Speak to my heart. God, I'm in trouble, but I'm calling on your name.